Hi everybody, if you stuck with us this far, congratulations, we're on week five of ukulele lessons. So today we're putting our whole song together. Um, if you need to go back and look at the other videos just to review your chords, that's great. In week four, I linked together all the lyrics and it includes chord charts at the top, so you can double check those. I know week one video doesn't seem to be up, I'm going to try really hard to re-upload it. I don't know why it's not there, so check back as soon as possible if you need a review on C and A minor and F, which we do the first week or two. Good, so today we're putting it all together. It'll be a relatively short video because you have everything you need, and I hope you've had a lot of fun learning some basics of ukulele. So we have our five chords. We have C, which many of you will have this red sticker, but you know it's your third finger on the third fret on the bottom string, that's C. You know A minor, which is your second finger on the second fret, and that's the top string closest to your face. Then we have F, which is the same as A minor, but we add that top finger, your index finger, on the one, two, third string, top fret, looking like this. And then we can add for D minor, one of our optional chords, we add this third finger in behind our second finger. That one's a little tricky, so if you're not using D minor or G, skip it, no problem. Go back and practice your other ones. And then lastly, that G chord where we are doing our first finger, our second finger, and our third finger. So first finger on the second fret, on the lowest string, second finger, on the second string, one, two, same fret. You can see they're kind of crossed over each other. And then the third finger slides in between them on the third string, one, two, three, counting down with me, one, two, three. And that third finger is also going on the third fret. So that's a really quick review, but there's more in the other videos. So if you're still having trouble, practice is gonna help you. Go and do those chords again and again and again. Do the exercises again and again and again. Probably listening once to me and playing it through is not gonna make it sound super good. You're gonna have to try it a few times and keep working on it. If you have questions, send me your videos and I can help you. So to finish off week five, we've got our song ready to go. And so your ukulele should be in tune. Check your strings. Make sure that that's ready. And then we're going to work together. So we're starting off with our little intro. We do our four chords of A minor, our four chords of C, and our eight chords of F. So just like we've done in the past, A minor four times, C four times, and then back to F. And we're going to go through. We've already worked on the intro and the verse and our chorus, and we'll play all the way through it and put it all together. So. Without further ado, one, two, ready, play. chords. I've played it exactly the way that it is on the chord chart, the lyrics, um, but I actually think that verse one sounds better if you just repeat the A minor, C, and F. So always four chords of A minor, four chords of C, and eight chords of F. So I'm going to do verse one again. You can decide which one you like better. So this is verse one again with doing the pattern two times instead of switching to C and F the way it says. 
That won't make sense if you're not looking at the chord chart, so make sure that you look at the, the lyrics with the chords above them. That will help you follow along. So verse one, not the way it's written. Two, three, four. through 4A minor, 4C, and 8F. That's why I like keeping it the same, because that pattern comes back multiple times. I don't really see the point in changing it. All right, so the chorus. So we were on F. Then only for a minute, I want to change my mind, because this just says to go to C and then play that for eight and then go to F. I like it better if you do the A minor to C so I'm going to keep doing that. So we were on D minor when the evening A minor falls and I'm left there with my thoughts and the image of you being with someone else well that's if you're using it, side, G, but we run our, back to the pattern, chorus, we pretended we're okay, now if we jump together at least we can swim far away from the wreck we made. Good, let's do that again. So we've got our four beats of A minor, and to C. just like we did last week, if you're doing this, and then two beats of G. If you're not doing the optional chords, that's okay. You just keep doing that pattern of eight beats of F, okay? And then we repeat that. Then we do A minor, two, three, four, two, C, two, three, four, two, So let's do verse two again. One, so we were on D minor from the chorus. When the evening falls and I'm left there with my thoughts and the image of you being with someone else while well, that's eating me up inside. But we run our course. We pretend. again. And just like you guys know, we do the four beats of A minor, four beats of C, eight beats of F. Okay. So then only for a minute.
switch to G if you want. Have to leave. And then, lately, I've been, I've been thinking, I want you to be happier. I want you to be happier. Just for that little section, there are some optional chords that are in the chord chart there. So I'm going to do that once for you in case you choose to do that version. So remember that you can go through this entire piece just playing four beats of A minor, four beats of F, or sorry, C, excuse me, and eight beats of F. But if you want to take it up a notch, that's what we're doing week four, week five. So don't get confused. If you're very happy after week three, three we're going to play through at the end. I'm going to sing along, and you can absolutely do your version with just the chords that you're used to. But this is that extra step if you want to take it. So finishing off that version of the chorus, it changes a little bit in that second half. So we do our little interlude of the A minor and then the C and then F G. Have to leave. So it's four of F and four of G. And then we repeat, we go A minor. Lately, G, I've been, I've been, C, thinking, I want you to be, F is normal, happier, I want you to be, C, happier. It almost sounds just like it ends a little bit there. So we've got that extra passing chord from A minor, we pass through G to C, just a little decoration. You do not need to do it, but it sounds kind of cool if you do. So let's do that version of the chorus all over again. So we were on either probably F, F, then A minor, only for a minute. I want to change my mind, because this just don't feel right to usually in maybe like the last third of the piece. So I'll F go. I'll C go. I will G go. go. A minor. again. So we were on C from the last chorus. So I'll F go to three. I'll C go. I will G go go. A minor. pre-chorus and that's kind of just the opening again which you know very well so then we go to lately I've been Happier and G 
So we've got that two beats of D minor, two beats of G. Or you can just do it with the same pattern. I'm gonna do that pre-chorus again, just like the opening, but I'm gonna add those extra chords. So the pattern is four beats of A minor, four beats of C, eight beats of F. Then it repeats with new words, and we do four beats of A minor, four beats of C, and then if you're doing optional chords, you do four beats of F, two beats of D minor, and two beats of G. And if that's a lot to remember, please look at the chords and follow along with the link. So let's try that all together practicing. So here's your chord to get your pitch. Late, okay? Lately. So I'll, or er, uh, G, sorry. So I'll, A minor, go. I'll, C, go. I will go, go. D minor, go. I kind of like ending with an F and an A minor, personally, but that's not what's written. It's really up to you. That's one of the cool things about music, is that when you cover a song, you can do something different. You don't have to do what they tell you. Um, once you've got the chords, you can kind of play around with them, and you can add things to the ending. You could maybe change a chord and change the pitch just a little bit. As long as the music is recognizable, you can really make it your own. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this. I'm gonna do this one more time all the way through so that you can play along with me. I'm gonna do it with the optional chords, but if you're just doing the pattern of four beats of A minor, four beats of C, and eight beats of F, you can play along with us and sing along. Absolutely enjoy doing that. So, from the top. I by the way, have also added that little intro so you can get your first pitch for singing. If you just kind of come out of nowhere, it's a little tricky. So that's why I do our little pattern at the beginning first before I start singing. All right.
together at least we can step far away from the wreck we And that's it. Sorry for the ending there. My cat jumped on my lap, as you could see. But I hope you learned uh, learned something. I hope you enjoyed doing this over the past couple of weeks. I'm really excited to have taught you. I'm excited to see your videos. And uh, yeah, just remember that you can really make these your own, whether you do it with just the three basic chords with that pattern, or whether you add in all of those optional chords if you're a little older, a little more advanced, or just looking to challenge yourself. It's all great. And ultimately, at the end of the day, if you had fun doing it and making some music and you have something to share, then um, you've done really, really well. So thanks so much, everybody, for a good couple of weeks. And we'll see you next time.